What's up guys, Goodness here, bringing you another episode of Raging with Ronaldo, the game where I play a random game against a random opponent and do a live comp over it. And looking at this, this guy has got a fitness squad, it's a bronze with a gold goalkeeper there with 99 chem. We'll see how he gets on. Either I'm going to be completely handicapped with my team or it's going to be a, a decent win for my squad, we'll see. But I'm prepared for anything, prepared for the worst. And I don't like the shadow in his stadium that he uses. Oh, I cannot get on with it. And also, I'm not a fan of the different coloured balls on the game, I'd rather always play with the white ball where possible sometimes especially the black ball that is my worst and with there with Kadira through on goal and we take an early lead that's more like it so the couple of topics I want to talk about and before we'll see if this guy in we induce some rage from him is like the England's game yesterday against Moldova so what did you think to the England game yesterday like a convincing win against substandard opposition and you know, I like the way the balance of the team. I like the fact you're playing a 4-2-3-1 with, like, you know, Ricky Lambert did well, I thought, yesterday. You know, it was a solid, no-nonsense, like, striker. Will get you goals um, if you give him the right service. And he's there like a poacher finishing off the opportunity from Walcott's shot yesterday. That was really good. And I'm happy to see him because he looks like one of the players that it really matters to him to be playing for, you know, his country. And he's like, it's nice to see that passion rather than just someone who you think is just, yeah, they're, they're happy to be there. But it doesn't really mean as much as it does. But some good passion from him there when he scored his goal. I'm happy to see that. So, yeah, we're like a 4 2 3 formation. You've got the older veterans now, I guess you can call it, of Lampard and Gerrard. And I know some of you Liverpool fans are probably going to give me some hate when I say that. I think that's the right decision because they don't have the legs that they once did anymore. And as good as Steven Gerrard is and Alonso with a long shot, and we smash a second one in straight away. This is going to be be a walkover pretty much I'm sure so he might rage quits this video he might be a bit quicker than we expect but he might stick it out and it depends how important that coin bonus is to him so yep yeah, you know Jared has not got the legs anymore I've noticed in a few games this season where younger midfielders are now running away from him when he's like you know trying to track back and that's just what happens your legs will go as you get older and someone's randoms invited me to a game there but no I'm like making a video so I won't be like responding to say yes I, I want I want a game right now maybe a bit later on so we'll see get Ronaldo there we'll see if we can get another turn and can we get a goal with them oh wow wow just like blazed it wide there when hopefully I was expecting the net to wrestle with another goal so you know Gerard is like not quite the player he was still a great player and he just has to be a bit smarter with how he plays he's not going to be able to be that box-to-box -box midfielder that he once was you know ramp you know just up and down the pitch just you know how he was just like doing everything for his team he's just got to have like some legs around him now be a bit smarter let the ball do some of the work and can, and definitely get the best out of him Di Maria does he want a goal no he doesn't yet so but I thought that the England squad with the balance of it looked good Theo Walcott again is showing you know he's now more of a threat from the right hand side and his pace will always and we get a fair goal for you know, like with David Luiz from a corner and you know this is going pretty much as you want it this guy it's a shame he's like disgracing the Arsenal kit there I had to change to the away kit because he wanted to play with the Arsenal kit but what can you do fair play to him if you're at home I always think that's the right thing to do Jimmy's gonna win well Jimmy it's not looking like it right now is it mate not really at all so you know you're always like <laughs> gonna give yourself like open to abuse if you have a name like that like you're gonna win at least have the talent to back it up if you do um, and I'm sure you know I'm not the best player out there, but you know if I'm like killing you like this, and we've got Messi going through near post. Oh, not quite. I thought the near post is normally OP, and with night night shooting, you'd have expected Messi to put that ball away right there, but he didn't manage to on that occasion. But we'll have plenty more chances, and I'm sure Messi will get a goal or two as the game moves on. So I thought that was good. I think the only downside is that... Oh, and where on earth is my defence here? Where happened? Where were they? And um, we'll give like... Oh, dear. Oh. oh, wow. That's why I have Cesar in my squad there for those kind of double saves. Look at that. Absolutely outstanding. Just when I thought all hope was gone. He's there pulling off the double save. And Ronaldo's made the run, but that was a bad ball through to him. And that was the wrong thing to do, to get the ball in there. So, yeah, I think England looked good. I think Welbeck, he had a great game yesterday. People say he's not a natural finisher, but I, and they don't particularly like him. But I think he's a decent player. He's still young. He's got lots to learn. And that was a decent sliding tackle there when I thought I was going to get another opportunity to shoot. 
So well, but has got lots to learn. I thought he had a great game. It's a shame that he's suspended because he is definitely a goal threat and he has, he's got a great record scoring for England. I can't remember any goals he's got so far, but I know he's not played that many games and the goals are stacking up for him already. And you know, he looked good again last night and we're going to miss that. But I guess if you want to play a more solid team because you're away from home against better opposition, then drafting someone like Milner. And while I'm not his biggest fan, I do appreciate... Oh, and my defender's now falling over. Oh, and he went for the extravagant chip rather than making sure. Well, you know, Jimmy, you're not going to win with tactics like that, my friend. But, you know, fair play that he did get an opportunity. And I decided not to play like like the counter-attacking style I normally play. I think that with the team I've got and the team he's got, I can just pretty much roll him over as and when anyway with this squad because they're pretty much like much better than what he's got and we'll see if we can hold on to Messi and no Messi's lost the ball so I thought it was pretty good like using James Milner he will work hard if you're a coach he's the kind of player that you want in your team rather than oh Di Maria should have been a much quicker turn and release there rather than just delaying and letting him come back to into it from the start he's definitely raised his game slightly this guy we'll see how he gets so maybe he's one that can you know like defend slightly better or attack quite well but not defend that's normally what happens most people know how to score goals the problem is is like keeping them out at the other end that is the biggest problem and that's one of the hardest things to learn in, in FIFA is to be able to defend consistently and the better players you find will be the ones who defend and limit you to like minimal chances and then are able to create chances themselves. Because, you know, there's no point being like old, like the old Newcastle under Kevin Keegan years and years ago when, you know, he would say, yeah, we'll score more goals than you. And that just doesn't happen anymore. Look at Mourinho and his tactics. You know, it's built on a solid defence first and then attack. If you were a bit like Arsene Wenger thinking, yeah, we can attack and we can beat anyone. Oh, look at that. Messi cuts the defence open. Oh, off the inside of the post. Wow, wow. I was ready to celebrate thinking that goal was going to fly in. The whole move, I thought, deserved the goal. And then somehow it didn't happen. So Di Maria there. Normally pretty good. And with Ronaldo now, oh, and he's blocked the shot somehow when I thought there would be another goal going in. And we're going to get to half-time 3-0 up. I think we should. We deserve to be more goals up. We've had plenty of shots. And this guy is coming in with his crazy sliding tackles. And we go into half-time. So... The other thing I wanted to talk about was FIFA 14. And as you can see, you've had the top 50 rated players that have come out. And they are slight, some are slightly controversial. You've got Bale, despite being his, like, having his transfer. And Di Maria is through. But we can't make the most of the opportunity and finish the chance. So, Gareth Bale, despite his world record breaking transfer, has still been in 87. But it's nice to see that he's now playing a central role and you can play him as a striker, which is always fantastic when you've got like decent, pacey players that you can play as a striker. And a little, the right ball at the right time. And it was offside. So it was the right ball at the wrong time for, for that one. And, you know, top 50 players are out there. What did you think to the ratings? I think some of them are slightly disappointing. Some of them are a bit controversial, but, you know, that's. Yeah, they like a bit of controversy. And we've got Ronaldo there. Manages to squeeze the ball in and we take a four-goal lead there. And this is what it's about. You know, will he decide to quit? Let's see what goes on. But I feel sorry for him with his team. He probably thought, wow, what is he coming up against? And it seems to be like, you know, don't seem to feel any sort of like restriction or any handicap. They seem, these players seem to be playing as expected, as I would expect them to. And, you know... Playing well in the game is what you'd want if you have a team worth this amount of coins. So, what else did I see? And this game is coming out to you probably around Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. So, we'll see what time it comes out. But earlier on today, and that was Messi, was right foot. And that's the one like slightly annoying thing about him is that he can have night on shoot, but his weak foot is not great. So, you will get the odd right foot shot that just sails miles away from the goal and is not quite on target as you want on his left foot it's a completely different story and we cross the ball in Di Maria with head all right with the volley and that's what you want we could take a five goal lead now and this is getting embarrassing for Jimmy Jimmy sorry about that mate but I don't think you're going to win so you might want to think about FIFA 14 and your name you might want to change that one over oh no it's not Jimmy is it forget that Jimmy was the guy I played last time so let's completely forget about that but he decided to rage quit with him one night 
like less than a minute, I've scored a goal, bang, quit. So I just thought, well, there's no point in making a video that quick for this kind of style video. So, and like, so FIFA 14, anyway, there's loads of videos that come out. And what I do like is the new pack. And is he going to finally get a goal? And no. No, he didn't get a goal, and Julio Cesar is there to like save the day once again. He's been an absolute legend. And can we put any of the players through? No, because he's managed to nick and get the ball in and get the ball back rather. So all the videos that come out today, the thing that stood out to me was the amazing. I like the new pack animations. I like the spinning gold ball, and I've seen like on a few videos that are out there today that you know 100k packs were in effect. <laughs> as always and there wasn't many times when they come out but that would be lovely imagine if they launched a game with 100k packs that would be absolutely amazing although no one would really have 100k to spend on a pack anyway unless you decide to pile loads of FIFA points or cash into the game when you start and obviously then then you'll get a great head start and you'll have a squad of millions and you might get a Ronaldo well or a Messi or any of those kind of players or Maybe not, to be fair, because those players hardly ever come around. Imagine that, getting your first pack in there and pulling one of those players. You sorted for the whole game. Pretty much can do what you want. When the coins build up, you can sell your players. And why did I decide to do that? It's just like a schoolboy error, just giving the ball away and putting yourself under pressure. There's no need to do that at all. So what else is there? I saw a video where you can, like, you know, all the different boots in there. And it's always fantastic when you buy a new pair of boots for the season and you can... Like if you're making a virtual pro, those boots are in the game. It's just, just something satisfying there. And it's always something that, that you like. And it's good that they're getting the licensed boots in the game. It doesn't really make much difference to Ultimate Team because you're pretty much restricted to, you know, the boots that the, the pro plays, them, or wears rather, themselves. But what can you do with that? But yeah, the, the game it looks so much cleaner. I like the, the way the transfer market looks, everything about it. Um, I do notice as well that you do get a few random golds in your starter pack, which is very nice. So, you know, I wonder, you're going to be looking at the best, like, non-rare, because I believe they're going to be non-rare golds. So who are the best non-rare golds going to be? That's the key, because, like, you know, you could open your starter pack and you could get someone decent, like, you know, like this year, isn't David Luiz, like, a, a non-rare? So, you know, those kind of players. Imagine getting someone like that. He's going to be absolutely... And there will be those non-rare bargains. we just got to work out who they are. And they might be the player that, that you get in your starter pack. So that will be pretty decent. And Ronaldo there. Oh, and just got Jim there. Wow, that guy just had like some amazing strength. And the ball goes out for a corner. So let me know what you're pumped for. I can't wait to try the demo. That's not long now till it's out. And we try and get another shot, but the ball goes out. So, yeah, not long till the demo comes out. And I'm going to get, you know, upload a few games for you when that comes out. Let you know my thoughts on it. And and if, it, you know, how it plays, what how it plays differently to the, to this game. And also, you know, the demo is not always the final, like, work. So we'll have to see um, how close it is to the final release once the final release comes out. And, of course, then I'm going to be getting my trading hat on and trading when the web app comes out and trying to pick up some deals. And the thing is, it is going to be tough just trading on the web app when it's web app released because you mainly only get the, the dedicated foot players who are there, not, not the sort of casual ones once the game is released. And they're the ones that you pick up your best deals from. And whew, good save from the keeper there. And so, you know, it's going to be a bit more difficult trading early on because you're going to be up against other people with the same idea, trying to make trade, make some coins. But of course, there's always those guys who are just not aware of a player's value. And so there should be opportunities to make some coins when that game comes out. I guess that's the time when the multiple accounts potentially will be beneficial, but we'll see if how it happens and we'll see like how that goes. So there'll be some videos like that for you and that should be pretty exciting. And of course, then, you know, when the game is finally out and we have Eurogamer as well. And, oh, very nice. Look at Messi there with the spectacular style volley. It's quite a nice animation there. You don't see many of those each game in, game out. So we'll take a look at the replay. Hopefully it won't, like, annoy him too much. But very nice, like a scissors, scissor kick style finish there from Messi. Beats the keeper and flies into the back of the net. So we're there 6-0. Can we get to a magnificent 7 before the video ends? That is the question. Only time will tell. And to be fair, I'm not really sure why this guy's in the Gold Cup with, with that, that one goal player in his team. And we cross it. And yes, diving header from Di Maria. Don't forget this guy's an absolute monster when it comes to scoring headers for me. 
pretty much every video he turns up with a goal or like every now and then a header and we do get the magnificent seven that we were hoping for and this guy is like just dedicated he's decided to like stick it out not decided to quit which is always nice he must be like wanting those extra coins and is he going to pass it around the back now probably he's decided to bring his keeper out so we'll just entertain him and see what is he trying to do you're going to try and score a goal Right, let's see what he's going to do. How far do we let him get? Right. So. Oh, is it going to go in? Oh, 8-0. Di Maria there with the long-range finish. Well, that's what you get when you bring your keeper out. You can only get so far. Holds the ball up there. And, like, was that chest and volley while under pressure from the defender? Pretty decent. Shame there wasn't actually a goalkeeper there to save it. But what can you do? You know... That those kind of things happen. So let me know, know what you're most looking forward to about V14. Let me know what you thought about all the videos that came out today. Let me know what kind of videos you were expecting from me. Of course, there'll be more player reviews. I'll try and get a few more FIFA 13 videos out there for you before the end of it, before the demo comes out. I'll try and keep like active as well. I've like been suffering a bit. If you know about Tottenham Hotspur and the infamous lasagna incident, then... You know, that's how I've been feeling the last few days. So the videos have not been as consistent as I'd like. But that's it. Have a look at that. David Luiz with 9.9 .9 rating. You've also got Ronaldo. Basically, the whole team played pretty well. Um, worst player there was Wilshere. Oh, well, what can you do? The England team's a bit around him, but that's it. So we have a look at assists. And the assists are spread out evenly. Di Maria with three, though, is always good. So let's advance and see the game stats. 498 coins. We'll take that. Thank you very much. And let's have a look at the match. Match details. That's always the one. And we look at that complete domination, 18 to 13, more possession. You know, passing shot actually wasn't too bad. But there you go. So that's it, guys. As always, if you like this video, leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.